Let's go. You're coming to Hawaii, good choice, and you want to splurge on a luxury hotel. Well, we have done the hard work for you, and we have tested all these hotels out to come up with our favorite. So here are our favorite luxury resorts on Oahu. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Welcome to Turtle Bay, Oahu's famous North Shore Resort. So, Turtle Bay is located on the North Shore of Oahu. So we are about 30 minutes outside of Haleiwa, cute, charming town up here. So this place is known for big wave surfing and in the winter they have fantastic surfing competitions up here in this area. So Turtle Bay sits on a peninsula and over here you can see the beautiful Kulima Cove which is an excellent place for snorkeling, for hanging out on the beach. All right, so umbrellas and chairs are complimentary on the beach for hotel guests. And if you're not a hotel guest, you can pay to rent them. So it's kind of nice. There's also beach rent on the other side of the property that is less protected than Kualima Cove. So it is perfect for walking on the beach and just enjoying the views. Turtle Bay has undergone quite an extensive remodel over the last year or 18 months. And even though it's been around for 50 years after this refresh, you wouldn't know it. So the lobbies are fresh, open and airy, absolutely beautiful, taking a lot of inspiration from natural design in their decor. It has a very surfer chic theme going on that I gotta say, we really like. It's really a nice place to relax and lounge and come back to after a day of adventuring. So the rooms have been redone. So you have standard rooms, which are about 400 square feet. Um, so which is a good size for our family. We've enjoyed staying in them, but you have more deluxe rooms and suites and oceanfront bungalows that get you access to more things like a nice private pool. All the standard rooms in this hotel are lucky enough to have an ocean view, which we are on the lanai of our room right now recording this. And you can see we have a pretty spectacular view. One of the big features of this hotel is the pool. So they have a great kids pool with two slides. They have a hot tub area and they have a nice infinity pool for the adults. It's a kid's hot tub? Yeah, it's a kid's one. The adult hot tub's over there. No way. It's true. One of the draws up here is they have a lot of activities for the whole family. So you have surf lessons, you have stand-up paddling, you have horse stables, <laughs> you have golf, you have laymaking workshops and hula, you have a great fitness center with tons of fitness classes. I mean, you just have a lot going on up here to really enjoy. Plus you have plenty of on-site dining. And what makes this place so very special is it is one of the very few places that you are actually able to legally stay on the North Shore. So one of the trade-offs is that even though this is a luxury resort, for the price point, some of the services don't quite match up like what you'll find at some of the other hotels. So some of the other hotels may sell a little bit more in their customer service and the luxury feel of the place. For the price point and the prices we're seeing right now, you're just missing a little bit of that luxury finesse. All right, so as you are planning your trip to Oahu, we have you covered. Do not stress about what you are gonna fill your days with. Our itinerary takes you on guided excursion days around the island with planned out routes. We've actually met a number of people here at the hotel who have been using our itinerary to get out and about. So check out that itinerary at the hawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu. I think you're really gonna love it. So many other people do. Welcome to the Hale Kulani, the most luxury of luxury hotels in Waikiki. So the name Hale Kulani means house befitting heaven, and I have to say that's fairly accurate for this hotel. So this started in 1917 as small beach bungalows, and obviously it's clearly not the same anymore. So the hotel that we know today was built in 1984. 
and it has been recently redone. So it closed in April of 2020 and underwent an 18 month renovation. So here are some fun facts about this hotel. It has 453 rooms in it. They're all of really good size. So between 590 square feet and up, the pool is also made up of 1.2 million mosaic tiles. So that was a big job. It's a really open air hotel, as you can tell. So a lot of the common areas are right out in the beautiful Waikiki breeze. But that's another thing to note. This is like a quiet oasis. So you are right in the heart of Waikiki and all of a sudden everything turns quiet and you are here in the Halekulani and it is just serene. I think that's a really good way to describe this hotel. It's very serene. They are known for their excellent service and they have two very famous restaurant options on their properties. So the first is La Mer, which is their fine dining restaurant. No beach clothes are allowed there, so make sure you dress up. And the second is House Without a Key, which serves breakfast, lunch, and appetizers. You can head there really fun for sunset because they have music and live entertainment each night. So this is located more Eva side of Waikiki, so you are up by Fort Jerusi Park, which helps with the quietness because on the other side of the hotel is the large park. So also that means the beach is a little bit smaller and more limited. If you love luxury hotels, and I know you do because you're watching this, click the link in the description below because we have links to all these wonderful hotels plus our full review write-ups. So head down below and click that. And fun fact, clicking these links helps us make more videos. Thanks for your support. Welcome to the Kahala Resort, a luxury resort just outside of Waikiki where celebrities and famous people like Queen Elizabeth II have enjoyed staying. We're staying here for a few days and we'll show you around. One of our favorite luxury resorts on Oahu is the Kahala Resort and Spa. This is in Kahala, which is right next to Waikiki, but it's not in Waikiki. And that is part of the allure of this resort. A lot of celebrities love to come here because it's quiet. A great travel writer, I don't know who, said it's immediately embracing. They can write better than we can because that's exactly how this resort feels. When you come in, you don't feel like a dime a dozen cut person rolling in here. It is quiet. It is not a big resort. It is intimate. It was built in the 60s. It's this great architecture, but they've kept it modern. I wasn't ready. <laughs> it's got a small pool, but it's right on the beach, right? It's like the beach is there. The pool is there, the resort's there. It's a really nice place to come visit as a luxury resort. Yeah. All beaches in Hawaii are public by the Kahala Resort. It's still a public beach, but it feels private, it feels very secluded, and they even rake the beach in the morning. Yeah, I haven't seen this in a long time. The rooms are spacious, they got suites, they got the tower with suites inside of them. We stayed in the Dolphin Lagoon wing, which is like really nice because you look over the dolphin quests, like where all the dolphins are playing, you can fall asleep, listen to them. The pool is salt water, plus there's a lot of activities here too. They got lay making, they got chi classes, they got fitness activities, you got dolphin quests to swim with the dolphins if that's your bag. You got a great place to go snorkeling right out front and they're part of the Malama Hawaii program of the Hawaii Tourism Authority. So you can get 15% off your room by volunteering to do a beach cleanup or doing a guided hike, learning more about the island. Also, because the resort's been around for over 50 years here on the island, they're very involved in the local community. They have a property on the North Shore where they have a reforestation project. So you can donate $8 a day to help replant trees on Oahu. 
And for the kids, they got cakey art and they also have a touch tank where you get your hands in some marine life. And the pool is really kid friendly. It's only like three and a half to four and a half feet deep. So it's a nice, lively atmosphere. It is fun. They have a lot of stuff to keep you busy and there's no resort fee. So for a luxury resort, that's mind blowing for me. So at the Kahala, one of the drawbacks is it's not centrally located in Waikiki, right? But it's just like 15 minutes away from Waikiki, which makes it really convenient to go do other activities like Cocoa Head Craters right there, Hanama Bay, you can drive the East Coast, or you can head up into the windward side of the island. So it's still really nicely located without being in like the busy, crowded area of Waikiki per se. That's why it feels immediately embracing when you get here because it's so quiet, it's laid back. It's in this luxury neighborhood of Oahu. It feels like you're all alone, it's really nice. The last thing is the price point for luxury here is unbeatable. They don't have a resort fee. They have what I think at this time when we're, when we're filming this, the prices for booking were really fair um, in the luxury hotel category. And I just think it's such a winner of a resort. Here we are located at the Four Seasons Oahu, and the Four Seasons is located in Koalina, which is a resort area located on the leeward side of the island. So Koalina has four man-made lagoons, and the Four Seasons is located on Lagoon One, so it shares a lagoon with Disney's Aulani Resort. The Four Seasons is a luxury brand, and here on Oahu, it is no different. So when you step into the very pretty open air lobby, you immediately feel ah, like you are starting your vacation. They have all the amenities you would expect at a luxury resort, including a wonderful spa, a beautiful pool, and plenty of on-site restaurants. Plus, they have some great benefits for the whole family. So if you're traveling with kids and looking for a luxury stay, this might be the place for you because not only are they located on a Koalina Lagoon, Lagoon One, these lagoons are really easy for kids and adults to swim in because they are protected coves. So these lagoons are great for kids or anyone really who doesn't want to deal with waves but wants to get in and swim. They also have a lot of fun activities for kids. So they have their complimentary Kids for All Seasons program, which is kind of like a day camp for kids age five to 12 and you can drop in and there's no extra charge for that. So a lot of resorts like to charge extra for kids clubs or resort fees and the Four Seasons doesn't do that. They also offer babysitting services and seasonal activities for the kids, like glamping, a street art workshop, just really fun things that your kids will enjoy doing. So let's talk about the Koalina Lagoons for a minute. These lagoons are great for young swimmers. They don't get that deep, so they get to about eight to 12 feet, but the really cool thing is that there are no waves or like very, very small waves. It's basically like swimming in a lake. So your kids can easily splash around and enjoy the water and you can do it without worrying that a rogue wave is gonna come. They also offer rentals, like stand-up paddleboard rentals. They have canoe tour that goes out. So while there isn't a whole lot of snorkeling in the lagoon, you can still don on some snorkel gear and take a look at what's underwater because you will see some fish down there. All right, let's talk about the rooms. Four Seasons has some great rooms. They have standard rooms and oceanfront rooms. And then if you're traveling with a lot of people, you might be interested in one of their suite experiences. So they have some different suites for you to choose from that will fit your whole family. They have three pools available at the hotel. So they have a kid's pool, an adult pool, and a pool that is for everyone. Also, they are located right across the street from Koalina Station, which is the shopping area. In case you don't want to eat at the resort, you can just hop right across the street, get some ice cream, go for some tacos. So a little bit more about the location on the leeward coast. So Koalina is in a large resort area. We have a Koalina guide on that, so you should make sure to check it out. We'll link it in the description below. But it can be hard to get out and go do things and explore because it is a little bit further away from some of the major sites on the island. So that is a drawback if you want to get out and explore a lot. You are about an hour from the North Shore and about 45 minutes from Waikiki or downtown Honolulu. That could be a drawback for some, but if you just want to hang out at the resort and relax, you might be okay with that. If you do stay at the Four Seasons or anywhere in Koalina and you want to head out and enjoy a boat experience, we do recommend Koalina Ocean Adventures. We had a great time snorkeling with them. 
they are just a fun crew, a fun boat, and they take you up the Waianae Coast, which is absolutely beautiful, and you get to snorkel just off Electric Beach. So click the description below, and we have a link to that snorkel tour and our whole review and write-up of it so you can learn more about that. I know it can be tough to figure out what luxury hotel to stay at. They all seem similar. Figure out the location you want to do and check the price point. See what price is right for you because you'll be surprised they do vary considerably. And if you are headed to Oahu and you are staying in a luxury hotel or not, doesn't matter. We have an awesome itinerary just for you. This is our Oahu itinerary. People love it. Trust us. <laughs> it takes you on excursion days all around to see the best parts of the island on a pre-planned out route so you don't do any backtracking. And it has great meals in our quick hit section, plus more ideas for where to stay. Find it at thehawaiivacationguide.com slash Oahu. We have a link down below. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. It's all at the really same time.